and welcome to hair tips with Misha. So I felt like I had to have big hair in this video when I was talking all about hair. So this is my pin curling tutorial hair which I will link on the screen right now. But we're not talking about pin curls right now, we are talking about hair tips overall, be it through styling, be it through taking care of it, just everything that I feel like is helpful to tell all of you to look after your hair. Because I've been there, I've destroyed my hair. I feel like everyone at the age of 13 went through that stage where they genuinely straightened their hair every day. My sister used to have beachy kiss curl hair that was so thick. Now her hair is thin and limp because she straightened it every single damn day. But anyway, we are gonna be moving on and we are gonna begin our top 10 hair tips. So a lot of you do ask questions about my hair, so I thought this was just the perfect way to kind of summarize everything into a video and answer some of your questions. I even wrote myself a little list, you know, being organized and all that. So, first tip is hair colour. Now, I'm sure we have all seen a lot of botched hair colours in our own hair life and in other hair lives. Do you, do you know when you see that person that it just doesn't look right on them, it doesn't look right on their skin tone, or you can tell they've kind of gone home with a weird, like, box bleach, and it's just like, the hair looks like it's dying. It just, it's not a good look. I personally wouldn't recommend going from like blonde to black or black to blonde. I know they always say to work up the scale or work down the scale and like eventually get to that hair colour. Because if you suddenly go from black hair to blonde hair, the amount of bleach you're going to need to use to get your hair that colour will destroy it. Bleach kills your hair. And yes, I have highlights and we use bleach on it, but we also use things like Olaplex to condition when I'm having my hair highlighted, just to make sure it doesn't die. But I also wanted to actually share with you guys a really amazing find, and that is Be Unique. So Be Unique have actually sponsored this video, and they are ultimately a silver shampoo. Now this is brilliant for not just blondes, but I'm gonna obviously use myself as the example and I actually show you guys exactly how to use the product. But you can also use this for brunettes, for every hair color where you wanna get rid of that brassy look. So you know when your hair in the sunshine and just in life goes a bit yellow and it's just not the most delightful look. Who wants yellow hair? Or who wants like a really tinge to their hair? So this Be Unique Silver Shampoo basically removes that colour. It doesn't bleach your hair, it doesn't destroy your hair, honestly it's so great for your hair and it probably stops you dyeing your hair more often which is obviously brilliant for the quality of your hair. So ultimately to use this you squirt some into your hand, oh obviously you, you go into the shower, forgot to mention that bit. This does also come with gloves and of course I will link it down below. But we all know how silver shampoos work. You squirt some into your hands, you buff it all into your hair, you leave it for one to three minutes, and you also are recommended to do a patch test before, just because you never know, like you just gotta be certain, we need to be safe with these things. So yes, do a patch test on one strand, just to make sure, then you do it all over your head, scrub it all in like a normal shampoo, leave it one to three minutes, depending on how, grey or ashy you want your hair and then genuinely you just wash it out and it's that easy, that simple and my hair was transformed. My hair was looking rather yellow and now it's looking beautiful. So yes, thank you so much to Be Unique, and I will link this down below so you guys can all check it out. But no matter your hair colour, no matter your hair length, this is just such a necessity in my shower routine. But just when I want to kind of give my hair a little bit more life and make it not look so yellow, basically. Next tip, so tip number two, is a great hairdresser. I think a great hairdresser is just a key to a great hair life. And a great life overall, because good hair puts you in a good mood. So, I am actually with Gemma at Anthony Green Salad, who of course, again, I will link down below. I absolutely love Gemma's pieces. Her hair work, is that what I call this? 
is amazing, if I may say so myself. I do have single bond extensions as well, but that is just a personal preference because I have incredibly thin hair. Now you may be thinking, why is she doing a hair care video when she's got hair extensions? Well, just because they're not my own hair, doesn't mean I don't still have to take care of them. And if I don't take care of them, then I ruin my own hair and the hair extension hair. Which, I mean, hair extensions aren't cheap, so we don't want to be doing that. But yes, I would totally advise getting an amazing hairdresser who you can trust with your life and your hair, because your hair is your life. So, I would also recommend getting a good cut. I have never been someone to be into layers. I've always been like a one length girl, but we don't want any split ends. Like, I know we've all got flyaways. You're probably looking at the screen right now and I've probably got flyaways on my hair, but that's because I'm no professional, so I'm always gonna have flyaways. But it's the end bits of your hair that kind of, you're only keeping there because you want the extra length but it just makes your hair look limp and dead. So cut those bad boys off, get your hairdresser chopping off those ends, and yeah, it will just make your hair look a lot thicker and healthier. Tip number three. Now this is one that people are gonna be like, ew, but I don't even care. Don't wash your hair. Genuinely, I used to wash my hair like either every day or every second day, and A, that is so much time wasted, and B, it's not good to wash your hair that often. Honestly, my hair is so much healthier since I wash it like once a week. And I know you're like, ew, but I'll come on to my next point and you'll see why that's okay to only wash my hair once a week. But yeah, I would honestly recommend washing it as little as possible. I know people say that they can't wash it less than once a day because it just looks greasy straight away. You have to get past that point. Once you start getting your hair into a routine, it doesn't get as greasy as quickly because it basically learns to deal with its own natural oils, if you know what I mean. So I would highly recommend not washing your hair all the time, just deal with the grease, trust me, you'll thank me in the latter. And not only does it save time, it saves money. Then tip number four, so if you're not washing your hair for quite a while, and say you've got a day where you're just having a house day and you're not going out and you don't need to worry about your hair, then I would recommend leave in conditioner. I've literally just grabbed this random one from my bathroom that is an argan care, natural hair care, leave in conditioner that I picked up from TK Maxx. This whole tub was £12.99 and this will last me a good while. So when they say leave in, I think I maybe take it like a step too far, but you never can with leave in conditioner. So I will genuinely leave this in my hair all through the day, all through the night, wake up the next morning and wash it out. And it just makes your ends and your hair so much softer and so much smoother and you're just really hydrating your hair. I think I'm on like number five. This is also all about not washing your hair. So the reason I can get away with not washing my hair is because this bad boy is my best friend. Dry shampoo is the best invention of life. I don't care what anyone tells me. It's the best invention of life. I genuinely go through this so quickly, but it's much cheaper than shampoo and conditioner. So yes, greasy hair, whack on in your dry shampoo. And maybe you don't want to spend the money on dry shampoo. Then you can just use baby powder. Honestly, it works. They also do like colored dry shampoos because I feel like for a lot of brunettes, they struggle because they don't want to look like they have a white head, which I appreciate. So I would suggest getting some of the colored ones. The blonde one, I do think comes up extremely yellow. So I actually just stick to the whitish gray ones because I think that works better. But yes, love me dry shampoo. It is my best friend. I would never go anywhere without dry shampoo. Number six is now kind of linking back to what I said prior. So heat and your hair, they just don't go along well. And I know I'm sat here with big curly hair where I've obviously used heat to create them. But with my pin curling, I can do it once and then not do it again for a week and the curls will last me that long. So I'm only using heat on my hair once. That is it. And I really wouldn't recommend using heat on your hair more than once a week because you're genuinely just frying it. You are just frying your hair. You might as well like get a little lighter and start like lighting it. I know that's a bit extreme, but you know what I mean. You're just killing off your hair. It's not good for you. I know it's really easy to say don't use heat and it's harder to actually do, 
but ultimately do you really need to straighten your hair every day or curl your hair every day start experimenting with some updos see how long if you don't wash your hair every day you can make your styles last when you do use heat and just play around with it really and then number seven is use heat protectant. So I've got this really jazzy one from GHD, which smells incredible. And this is so important. If you are gonna use heat on your hair, please protect it, because then at least you're frying it a little bit less. It's only a little bit, but it does make a difference. These normally protect your hair up to like 240 degrees, which is typically the heat of a straightener or a curler. So yeah, such a vital piece of my hair routine. Please use it. Okay, number eight. I thought I had seven, and I think I actually will have 10 at the end. So let's see how this goes. But number eight is hair oil. Now to create smooth ends and to create a smooth hair look, you need yourself some hair oil. This is a Moroccan argan oil. You can always get these at TK Maxx for a little bit cheaper, but this basically I just put in my palms, rub all in and then smush, I don't even know, like wipe on to my ends just to smooth out those flyaways and it makes such a difference and it makes your hair look so glowy and healthy. But if you don't want to spend the money on argan oil, then use coconut oil. It honestly works a treat. You can literally, this one was from Lidl and you can just and genuinely get like the massive big tubs of organic coconut oil from Lidl for like three pounds which is amazing so you just do the exact same thing you wipe it on your fingers and then you just smooth out the ends and then your hair also smells like I want to eat it so you know snack on my hair if I get hungry now number nine I'm actually going to talk about hair clips and hair bobbles so this is oh my choice of hair clip i don't really use hair bands because i do feel like the elastic in them can not only give weird kinks to your hair but i just don't feel like i feel like it breaks my hair like i feel like it ends up snapping my hair so these bad boys i just use to either clip back bits of my hair or like i'll swoosh my hair into a little bun and clip it in place with this bad boy but these just don't damage your hair like there's nothing pulling at it, there's nothing like holding it in tension. I just really appreciate a good old fashioned hair clip to not get any like bits of hair falling out because that is a nightmare. Finally, number 10. I don't really have one for this, but it's just be happy with your hair, I would say. I think a lot of people have straight hair and they want curly hair. A lot of people have curly hair and they want straight hair. The amount of people I know that have like full on afro hair and they genuinely heat it and style it every day. And I'm like, please don't. A, you're destroying your hair. B, your natural hair looks absolutely beautiful like that. So yeah, just embrace the hair that you have, be it thin, be it thick, be it curly, be it straight, be it wiry, be it gray. All embrace the hair colors as well. Like, I know I'm sat here with roots and I don't have naturally blonde hair, but you know, maybe one day I will grow out my non-blonde hair and see what it looks like. But yeah, just you guys do you, do what makes you happy, do what makes you feel confident. I hope you enjoyed this little chatty video. Again, thank you to Be Unique and I will link all of the details and all of the items I mentioned down below. Happy hair days, have a fabulous day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification to see my face every time I upload which is a lot because your gal's trying to work really hard with YouTube so yes I love you lots I will love you and leave you but to your pip guys bye bye Mwah. bye